And CBS 6 meteorologist Sam Copland joins us now. He's live in Troy tonight with an update from National Grid. Boy, it's such a beautiful night. It's hard to believe the weekend we just went through, Sam. That's right, Liz. Yeah, we are on the outskirts of uh, RPI's campus. We traveled here with the Mobile Weather Authority powered by Mohawk Honda. And there's good and bad things about March systems. The good, well, we had three to six inches in Troy. And now a day like today with the bright skies, you got the high sun angle, we could see right down to the grass. The bad is these systems tend to cause a lot of destruction, both with tree limbs down and a good deal of power outages. We got a lot of ice. Uh, and then we had that heavy snow on top of it, and it just stuck right to the trees and just weighed everything down. Right now, we're about 5,000 customers that are without power, mainly in Albany and Rensselaer counties. Um, you know, it, it, the last couple of days have been really good for our crews to get out there and, and, and do the restoration work. Um, but, you know, there's still been, even even as late as this morning, uh, there was still quite a bit of ice on some of those trees, and that was kind of slowing some of the restoration work down. I know it's frustrating for a lot of customers without power, uh, but our crews have really been doing a, a nice job. And the Troy area ended up being a hot spot for a lot of power outages. You see, look at all this tree damage. What happened was, especially around here, we had snow, then we went over to a prolonged period of icing, and then back to snow, and the combination was, in some parts of the area, disastrous with tree limbs coming down, and we had uh, some of the most power outages in the Rensselaer County area. But as Patrick just mentioned, we are close towards the end, just 5,000 customers or so left without power, and they're expecting full restoration by the end of the night. So